and welcome into Weather Nation as we take you to the middle of the Atlantic from the first hand perspective of sail drone of Hurricane Sam. This is a partnership between sail drone and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. And you can see here just how large those swells are and the winds experienced at 120 miles per hour within this storm. Again, Sam is a major hurricane spinning in the Atlantic. And now this firsthand perspective from new technology, uh, again, a partnership between between NOAA and Sail Drone, and we are excited to speak to the lead scientist on the Hurricane Sail Drone project, Greg Foltz. He's a NOAA oceanographer. oceanographer. Greg, could you uh, tell us how awesome this project is, the cool, amazing video we got, and how this all came to be? Yeah, so it's an amazing, this is an amazing mission uh, into Hurricane Sam, uh, which as you said, was a category four major uh, hurricane at the time. And uh, so the video you showed, this was uh, Hurricane Sam, the eye wall, the Northern eye wall, so the strongest winds around the eye of the hurricane and the sail drone, we managed to get it right through that eye wall uh, along the Eastern edge of the eye and then out the Southern eye wall. So amazing. And this has been a lot of work, a lot of, dedication from a uh, sail drone and also from NOAA and a great partnership to, to bring us to this point of being able to to put a sail drone successfully into a hurricane. Yeah, and Greg, can you talk a little bit about what the sail drone is? Because if people have seen the video going, wow, this is incredible. Can you talk about how the design plays into that surviving a trip through a category four hurricane? Yeah, so again, amazing uh, technology advancement and technological feat by the sail drone engineers and, and NOAA engineers to bring us to this point. And this is a, a specially designed sail drone. This is not one of your typical sail drones. It's been ruggedized with a shorter sail and it's more stable uh, specifically to withstand the extreme conditions, these really high winds, waves of up to 50 feet and more that were uh, encountered in Hurricane Sam yesterday. Uh, so really just a great, great accomplishment. Really opens a lot of doors for uh, observing hurricanes and improving NOAA's hurricane predictions. Yeah, can you speak a little bit about how this partnership is expected to help hurricane prediction? We've had above average seasons uh, so far this year and, of course, last year being a record setting season. So how is the sail drone technology going to help us going forward? Yeah, so that, that's the main goal of this project is to improve hurricane intensity predictions made by NOAA. Um, and the way we can do that is to get this unprecedented data continuously through a major hurricane like this. So we can really start to understand in conjunction with all the other data that NOAA is collecting uh, in hurricanes from other observations, but this continuous data near the ocean surface, we can get at the engine of the hurricane, um, how it's transferring, how it's drawing heat energy from the ocean to intensify. That's really the crucial thing that we're, that we're going after with, with this work. Amazing. And of course, Sam, our major hurricane in the Atlantic at this time, we have another storm, Victor, out far into the eastern Atlantic. But can you talk about the project's plan over the rest of this season and then certainly into next year? How many storms you're hoping to intercept and more data that you're hoping to collect as well? Yeah, so we have we have five of these special sail drones out there now in the Atlantic. They've been out there since the beginning of August. Uh, they're there for the peak of the hurricane season. And um, our, this was exactly, exactly our goal. I mean, we couldn't have asked for a better, better situation, uh, a better storm to be positioned to get one of these sail drones into. And fortunately, the best part, you know, this, this hurricane is not predicted to make landfall anywhere. So uh, the perfect opportunity, a hurricane that stays out of sea and we can get these valuable measurements. Uh, we hope to do this uh, next year. Uh, 
yeah, this is this has been very successful. We're really happy with with the way it's gone. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, the video speaks for itself. Just a wild ride for that sail drone to go through. And just really quickly, because it's my own curiosity, I'm sure a lot of folks at home, where are you launching these sail drones from? Are you taking them and launching them as close to the hurricane you can get? Or are they sent off from some of those coastlines and then steered all the way into the ocean water? Yeah, so the, these were deployed, uh, one off Jacksonville, Florida, and the others from uh, St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands in the Caribbean. And from there, uh, they, they can travel up to 100, 150 uh, kilometers per day, so 50 miles or so at least per day. And uh, we can direct them to where we want them to be, and we specifically chose regions where there's a very good chance that there'll be hurricanes passing through each year. So we position them there, and then we can move them in the case of Sam, we saw more than a week ahead of time that it was likely to come to the Western Atlantic. So we moved one of our sail drones in position. And uh, fortunately, we, we were there uh, when it came through. Amazing technology and NOAA continuing to further the mission of protecting life and property. Greg Foltz from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, thank you so much for joining us today. And we are really excited to see more of these videos going forward. All right, thank you for having me. All right, let's get a quick peek before we go of what Sam looks like and the latest stats from Rob. Yeah, there you go. Sam, a uh, Category 4 hurricane moving to the north very quickly, 21 miles per hour, expected to pass by Bermuda throughout the morning hours tomorrow. That's going to be bringing big swells and rip currents to the area. The visible satellite, really impressive, seeing the mesovortices down there in the eye this morning. Just an indication of a very powerful storm that they were able to intercept yesterday with those sail drones. Uh, Sam expected to move to the north into the northern Atlantic waters through the next couple of days, but passing by Bermuda with tropical storm warnings currently in effect. We'll have the latest on Sam and the tropics coming up throughout the day here on Weather Nation. Stay with us. We will be right back.